Whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Remember guys, episode 6 of our Pokemon Sage Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for this episode, show some love on that like button down below. Let me see you guys hit 1,000 likes, man. 1,000. I know you guys could do it. I believe. I know. I know you can. I just believe in you guys. I really do. I always believe in the A-Drive army. But anyway, we are continuing our journey once again. If you guys missed the last one, you can check it out in the description below, of course. And uh, you don't want to miss that one. Definitely go check that episode out. We had some really cool evolutions happen. We uh, ended up taking on what seems to be the evil team. And uh, we're going to continue our journey down Route 4 here and see what happens. So, got to battle some trainers, work our way through Route 4. Hopefully, we're getting to a Pokemon Center. It's been a long journey. We, like, basically had Route 3 and then Route 4. And, and actually, the forest in between. So, kind of a lot of things happening to get to this point. So, this is actually going to be kind of tricky. I'm a little nervous battling this homie because my special attack is reduced. I did zero damage to him. He's going to double slap me. I'll have to switch out because this guy, Dream Deary, is very powerful. He's very powerful. Do not sleep on the Deary. Uh, if I go Reverie, I could drop his special attack. Maybe that's my play. We could drop his special attack so his side beams do less. Because you know he's going to side beam me eventually. Yep, there's a side beam. And that does nothing to me because I can resist it. But I have like nothing to hit him with. So I'm going to double back into Emerald now because I'll, I'll have his special attack lowered. And mine will be kind of fixed. So I should be able to take these side beams a little bit better. Still does so much damage though. Alright, it's Mega Drain. Get some health back here. That's so little, dude. This thing is so bulky. I'm like blown away at how good this Dream Deary dude is. It's like crazy how good it is. Of course, he's doing double slap me and hit me like a million times. And I'm out of Mega Drains. I'll air cutter you. Maybe I'll get a crit. Okay, he's gonna confusion me. Uh, I gotta switch, dude. It's too sketchy. We're gonna go back to Reverie here, lower his special attack one more time, and then just beat him with double slap or whatever. Cause this thing is like so powerful and I don't like have potions or anything anymore. So we need to get like, we need this route to end is what I need right now. Actually, uh, I'll double slap. And hopefully we just hit five times or three times. will be good. All right, cool. Knocked him out. I have one of these dudes and like, I don't know why every time I face this guy, it's like so strong. Good experience there though. All right, cool. Beat you. Why don't we trade numbers? Sure. We could trade numbers. Rancher Annie. Thanks for the number trade. Okay, so. All right, we made it to Legato Town. I'm gonna go just see what's down here real quick and then we'll continue to Legato Town. Well, it looks like we can actually heal and do what we gotta do, so that's good. Emerald is pretty weak in here. There's a trainer and he's got probably flying types. I guess we could try to use turbo. I haven't really used turbo too much. I probably should heal. You know what, let's just go to Legato Town and then we'll come back. It's not worth it. My team is like too weakened right now. There's a saloon. Ah, that's the guy who stole the Pokemon. So let's head in here. All right, this is the Pokemon Center. Let's heal up. And then we can actually check out the PC. I can decide whether I want to add the frog homie, Frogger. I don't know if I'm going to though, but we'll take a look at him. It's kind of, it's so hard to tell whether stuff is going to be good or not. He's got Rain Dish, so he's Flower, Water, Gentle, which is pretty bad, Rain Dish, Absorb, Mud Slap, so I mean his moves right now are trash, so I'm gonna stick to what I have, because I like, I actually like the team, so, alright, so I know I'm gonna go into the saloon, we're gonna have a good old fashioned western showdown here shortly it looks like, and we got ourselves another one of these little rabbit homies, and Turbo, we'll just run. All right, let's battle this guy. Instead of birds, I've spotted the trainer. That's it, Mr. Bird Watcher. What do you got on your team, Brandy? A bluffing. Are you bluffing? All right, let's hit him with the stomp, dude. Powder Snow? I thought I was done with all these ice Pokemon, man. Look at that damage, though. Haven't really used Turbo lately. We finally got some other members of the team to, like, do some stuff, which has been nice. He's going to get to 16. And a Panglyph. So what do I have that could beat Panglyph? My own Panglyph. Probably. I'll go to Reverie. We'll go to Reverie here. Take on this Panglyph. These are birds, but they're not birds, really. They're kind of birds. Big side beam here. Nice. And double slap should do very little to me. Good. And another side beam. Like, I'm just consistently blown away at how strong Reverie is. Like, without even trying. Nice and big level there up to 17. He's got a Harpy. 
I already know about that, dude. Now we can go to... Yeah, we'll go to Topanga. And Topanga can handle this, dude. Let's go, Ice Cool Spear. And that should knock him out easy. Yep. I love I love having an Ice type, man. A really strong Ice type. So clutch. With priority, too. Like, having the priority in the team is so nice. Because normally you have to rely on, like, quick attack early game, but... Okay, let's see here. Nothing over here. Can head down this way. This guy's a fisherman, homie. Look at that big fish he's got on his back. A four to... Four to fry? I gotta, I gotta switch, I think. Should I switch? Well, he's 14. All right, we stomping, dude. Let's do it. Don't knock me out, though. Oh, we just straight up knocked him out. Sweet. That was good. And a Bowie. So that's the bug one. He's gonna bubble me. He's actually faster than me. All right, we gotta switch, though. Uh, yeah, let me switch. Let's just go... Let's go Valor. I'll just finish him off with Valor. I don't want to chance anything. Not worth losing a Pokemon right now. Struggle Bug. I think I probably... Eh, he would have knocked me out with that, actually. And we could just hit him with the Jet Strike in case this thing's super fast. Alright, sweet. Booby's gone. Alright, let's check out what's going on down here. And then we're going to head to that saloon. And see what's happening there. What's over here? Anything? Maybe an item or something. There's another Froggy. I actually gotta probably not put turbo in the front, but I think we'll be alright. Nothing down here? Yeah, just, we just gotta... A lot of this game it feels like you have to come back to later. Like you have to have surf and stuff or something like that. Rock smash, surf, all these different things that we can't even access yet. Right, let's go this way and we'll heal up one more time. Then we'll head to the saloon and see what's going on down there. Please let me run, good. All right, let's heal up. And now we gotta go find this dude, because he is in the saloon right now. We don't we ain't playing games. You're gonna come out here, you're gonna steal my friend Sophia's Pokemon. Not about that life. Not about that life. You're gonna steal Sophia's Pokemon. I'm gonna have to show you who's boss. So let's do it. Uh, he just uh, I'm actually gonna hit the, the mart first. Let's do that. This is actually a good mart, maybe? Hey, there we go. Okay, good. I have money now, so we're out here. I actually like somehow gathered 10 grand, so. All of our struggles come to this, where we actually have money for stuff, which is amazing. Okay, cool. And this is a good market, too. Alright, so we got a lot of exploring to do here, but let's go to the Salty Spittoon. I think I've had too much to drink. Ain't you a bit young to be here? No, I'm good. What is that guy doing? Cool drink, working a shift on the farm. Get lost, this isn't for you. You drink the good stuff, take mine. Fresh water, baby! Hey, water's always good, man. It's good to see the kids being healthy. Ooh, a nice item. What is this? A guard spec. Okay. I mean, I guess we could sell it. Not that guard spec's very good, but... Alright. Did I talk to you yet? Buzz off, shorty! What do you want, Pipsqueak? You want to get stomped by the great Ricardo? Stolen Pokemon. Oh, you're friends with that loser I got this Pokemon from. What, are you dating or something? She was pathetic. She wouldn't even be able to raise it properly. I'm doing this Pokemon a favor. You want me to give it back? Ha! I'll put you in your place. It is Ricardo. Ricardo! Alright, Ricardo. See if you're any good, big dog. Outlaw Ricardo. It's gonna lead things off with a quibble. I don't know what quibble is, but I'm gonna stomp him. Oh my god, he crit me. That did so much damage. I mean, I just crit him back, so we're even, but like, oh my goodness. Level 17 for Turb. Here comes a Pyrote. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds like a fire type, so let's go to Reverie. Um, sounds like a fire type to me. Oh, that's the evolved form of the fire starter. Okay, well, let's go for the uh, little side beam here. And he flinches me, because we're going to get hexed. Headbutt again. Don't flinch me, please. There we go. All right, I got to heal. And our side beam is going to do a good amount of damage, so that's at least good. Alright, super potion up. Get Reverie back to full. And I can side beam again. He's going to just keep headbutting me, so whatever. Let's, uh, side beam. Is that all you do is just headbutt? Oh, he crit me, dude! Almost knocked me out! Wow. Okay, we can, uh, we can super potion again. Wow. Okay. 
That was scary. I almost just... Oh, he's got Smackdown, too. I gotta say, I really like the starter we picked, but this goat looks pretty sick. He flinches me! No. Okay. Um, I kind of want to switch. But I don't want to switch into a Fire-type attack. I'm gonna go Valor. I, I think Valor can live a hit. I may regret this if he goes for a Rock-type move. I, I was stupid. I just lost Valor, didn't I? Oh, Valor, you're a legend. Okay. Thank you for living that. I was really nervous. All right, let's just Jet Strike him and finish him off. Whew. Oh, he's a rock type. Ooh. Okay. And here comes a Sombrado. Uh, I'll go to Gemma and then we'll switch out, I think. Oh my God. This guy's got some really cool Pokemon. Level 18 though. Okay, not so cool now. Um, Let's go to Topanga. Faint attack. Is he dark type? Okay. Okay. Uh, well then. What does one do in this situation? Do I dare go emerald? I guess I go emerald. Faint attack again. Am I faster? Do I trust that I'm faster? I'm gonna mega drain. No! Oh! We lived on two! I just dropped my controller because I thought we were done. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I thought we were done. I thought we were done. Alrighty. I'm gonna fan tag again. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna mega drain. Please don't knock me out, dude. Oh, we living on one. Okay, I can't risk this again. Oh, I got the high roll. Overgrow, overgrow activated. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Wow, hit that like button for Emerald. Oh my gosh. You know what? I have better things to do than play games with little kids. You here for this weak Pokemon? Just take it. Whatever. This time doesn't count, short stack. This Pokemon was too weak anyway. If I ever see you again, I won't pull any punches, you hear? Oh my gosh, dude. It's empty. Excuse me, young man. I couldn't help but notice how well you dispatched that ruffian bravo and kudos. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Professor Northington. I specialize in studying this region's history. I'm fascinated by its mythology in particular. To the north of here, there lies a cave where the ancient people of Erebos used to perform rituals using crystals. After seeing how hardy you are, hardy you are I have a proposition. I ask you to get me one of those star crystals from the cave. It is invaluable for my research. At my age, I can't go gallivanting up in mountains like I used to. Can you go there for me, please? You will need this. Rock smash. All right, so now I can rock smash. I actually kind of want to go back. Really far back, but... So I need to get him a star crystal from Route 5. Dude, I can't believe that battle just now. I need to heal up. We legitimately lived on two and then lived on one, and I had no other option. I'm so sorry to put you, my A-drop army, in, in the line of fire on that one because we almost just lost our starter Pokemon. And that would have been pretty devastating. I would have not been happy about that. I would not have been happy about that. Oh my goodness. My heart right now, it's like, it's going really fast. Mascoon, Rokano. Yeah, I don't have one of those, dude, sorry. All right, well, sorry, I wouldn't trade it to you anyway, so it's whatever. All right, so I can Rock Smash here, so I gotta teach Rock Smash to somebody. Is it an HM or a TM in this game? TM, oh, it's good, it's TM, thank goodness. All right, uh, let's give it to Turbo, because Turbo doesn't really have really much going on for it in terms of attacking moves. We can get rid of Fury Attack, because Stomp is really better anyway. And we got Rock Smash, good. So we can smash some rocks now. And get whatever that item that is. And like I said, I, there's a part of me that wants to like go really far back now. We got that was not worth it at all. But hey, we needed to teach you Rock Smash eventually anyway. Don't peck my feet this time, homie. All right, I went in there. What is this? Phantasmare, dude, that looks sick. Oh my god, I need one of those. There's a cave. And there's amazing crystals. So that's our next like task. Let's go get those crystals for that dude. This guy lived in this town for 60 years, bro. 
Yeah, you guys are living in this house? It's like one room. School's so boring, I want to go on a Pokemon adventure. I feel that, dude. I feel you on that one, little homie. Oh, look at all these Phantasmos. Oh my god, what is this? The Coltergeist? Oh my god, this is such a cool thing. I want one of them. I came to this town. I didn't get to change my wardrobe. Silk scarf. Nice. Thank you for that. Okay, that's really good. So we can teach silk or give this silk scarf to. I love getting items like this. Let's give it to Turbo. Turbo's getting big buffs right now. Turbo's getting big buffs right now. Actually, you know what I could do too? I just realized I can give the hard stone. I wish I thought of this before to Topanga because he's got a rock move. Perfect. All right. And then what is this? I can go in here, okay. Came from a different city. What about you? Can you call this a hotel? I didn't get a mint on my pillow or anything. We're fully booked. Oh, I can go to the Pokemon Center. All right, well, I'll see who else is here, I guess. This place is so backwards. <laughs> Mistakes were made. This is the only place I could afford. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry, rip, dude. Struggle is real. All right. So it looks like we're headed north. That's really our only option. So let's do it. It should be a new route up ahead. Yep, route five. Brand new route, which means a brand new opportunity to catch a new Pokemon. So let's grab this Pokeball over here. And it's a great ball. And whatever we find, first encounter, you guys know the deal by now. We can catch it if it's not a duplicate. That's duplicate. So Harpy it is. No Harpies for me. Oh, trainer. Okay, let's see what you got. You've got two Pokemon and Alpines, which I've seen a few times. I gotta switch though. Let's go into, yeah, let's go to Valor here. Hit him with some flying type attacks. He's gonna go for growth. This dude, that's what he does. He goes for growth, hits some little leech seeds or vine whips or whatever he does. My little elephant homie. All right, it would be great if whatever Pokemon I found in the wild here was not a grass type, because I have Two in my box, he's gonna razor leaf me. That might hurt actually, eh, not too bad. I've got two in my box and one in my party. I don't need another grass type. That's like definitely not what I need. I need, I don't know what I need. I need something good. A fawning. Okay. Okay, so we got the opposite gender, which is good. I always know now with fawning to check that. Cause he's gonna do so much more damage otherwise. All right, cool. Nice him out. And we're good to go, sweet. Okay, what's down here? Wait, didn't we just go this way? Okay, so I just went that way. All right, so let's get our encounter then, I guess. Might as well. Unless I can get it in the water. Just seeing if the terrain changes at all. There's that dude up there. This all seems to be Route 5. There's another fisherman, homie. So, I mean, I think regardless, Route 5 is gonna be what it's gonna be, unless I wanna try to fish. But again, I don't have the fishing rod, so I can't really fish yet. So that's my own fault. All right, what do we got? That's something new, a tamarin. I have no idea what type this thing is. I'm gonna rock smash it. It's got detect. He might be normal, he might be fighting, he might be... Oh, you know what? So TAO is actually Dao. It's like Daoism. So maybe he's like a monk tamarin. Okay, so he's probably normal type. Restored his HP a little bit using content. So he's happy. This guy's interesting. I'm very interested right now at this guy. He just heals himself every turn? Like, what does this guy do? It's kind of crazy. Meditate. Maybe his ability is like if he doesn't attack, he heals himself or something. I don't know. I'm gonna try to catch him though. Might as well. Um, yeah, I'll throw a great ball at him. Two, three, nice. I remember learning about Taoism in the uncarved block. Normal type. Constantly stands and moves with perfect balance, even in strong winds or uneven ground, and nothing seems to distract it from deep meditation. All right, what should I name him? Um, let's see here, Taumarin. Uh, I'm gonna name him Dao. That way we know. He's the Dao homie. 
All right, what's up here? Let's smash a rock, check out what's up here. I'm gonna go check them out on the PC. I might as well. I don't know if I could see myself replacing anyone on the squad right now. It's very difficult to want to replace anybody. I feel like we got a really cool, cool group of homies right now. Like, I can't even imagine what I'd want to replace. The homies are really cool. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to change anything. But I'll look. Maybe, maybe he's cool. Maybe he's got great stats. I don't know. I, I don't, I, like I said, I have a hard time, just, like, looking at my team and being like, yeah, I can replace this guy. Oh, uh, there, we could have gotten an Alpine, but that's okay. I'm not too crushed about it. I mean, he's cute. Don't get me wrong. Alpine is very cute, but... All right, let's head back and let's just take a peek at Dao and see if he's any good. I mean, his ability is very interesting. Move. All right, so he's impish nature. He looks like he's very like, regains the HP after using, I was right. Meditate, detect, hidden power, secret power. Secret power is actually kind of legit. So, I mean, he's not bad. Like, if I look at my party and I look at, you know, how strong is, is he? 28. I mean, they're about the same. So it's like, do I bounce on turbo right now, though? And say, hey, you know what? I'm going to grab this little monkey, dude. I don't think so. Like, turbo was, like, so important at the start of the playthrough. I have loyalty to turbo right now. Like, Turbo's my homie. How could I just ditch on? I, I just, when I Nuzlocke, man, I don't want to bail on things unless I run into something incredibly epic. But this team has been, you know, they're holding it down. They're holding it down right now. I don't want to ditch anybody. Not that I'm permanently ditching them, but when you put them in the box, you know, chances are, unless things go really badly, they're not coming back. I hate to say it that way, but it's it's kind of the truth. When something hits the box, it's they're probably not coming back, so. All right, let's see what this guy's got going on here. He is a survivalist, Andrew. He's gonna send out his downburn, so he's got one of these homies too. All right, I'm gonna switch, and I don't have any fighting moves or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna go, let's see here, what do I wanna go into? I'm gonna go into, I guess I go Valor. He doesn't go Valor, I'm just trying to knock him down. He's gonna meditate, he's gonna, this guy's gonna be tough, man. I'm not, I'm not like counting this little homie out. But we did over half to him, this is gonna hurt. He gets the para, of course. Okay. As long as they don't get fully paralyzed, we're good though. Sweet. Okay. So that's cool. So he heals himself if he doesn't attack. Very cool ability. It's not a big heal, but it's something. And a harpy. So we'll just go into Topanga. Which somehow Topanga is still our highest level. I feel like I really haven't used him too much. We'll just Ice Cool Spear. Big Ice Cool Spear here. Bam. See you later, Harpy. The survivalist. I respect it. All right, he's gone. I had the advantage the whole time. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. You need to step up your game. All right, let's grab that. Nothing. A sharp beak. Hey, dude, I'm loving it. I can't emphasize enough. I just love it because I feel like it's Pokemon games should do that. I feel like some of the Pokemon games they kind of miss out on that. They don't like give you those items early game, which they should. So it's really nice that I can grab those. I'm gonna keep Gemma in front because I'm trying to train up Gemma. But, and let me see if I have a paralyzed heal just real quick. I probably have a cherry berry. Yeah, we could just use that. Just to heal up Valor in case I need him. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, we got that fishy homie. I could have tried to get a rock smash encounter if that's the thing. I right, was battle fish homie. I'll make it clear the better fish. I can't fish though, man. I can't do the ice puzzle, dude. Fisherman Lewis got a fortify. Um, last time I just like bopped him. So let's go turbo. I really want to see if turbo's gonna evolve. So I'm trying to use him. He looks like he's water ground. Whirlpool, okay. Oh, that did a lot. And we can't switch. So this is, this is it. Like we gotta just make it happen. Uh, we're gonna stomp and hope for flinches. Whirlpool again, okay. All right, we took that. I feel like the first one did more, but we'll knock him out here and release ourselves, I think. Fortify, can I switch or not? Nah? I'll go Emerald. And I'll just uh, Mega Drain, I guess. Nah, he's definitely not ground, because that would have knocked him out if he was. He just Whirlpools, okay, that's fine. No big deal. A little extra damage there for the Whirlpool. 
And we'll just air cut her. I missed. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I hate when I do stuff like that, because it's really annoying. Alright, let's um let's actually hidden power. Maybe we can kind of find out what our hidden power is still. Super effective. Maybe it's electric then. Maybe it's electric. And a cuppy. Oh, look at that little guy. Let's hidden power again then. Super effective. So I'm thinking it's electric. Okay, that didn't do anything. And Mega Dream. Yeah, it's probably electric. But I'm trying to think if I use it against any flying types. Electric's not bad though. Cause we're not gonna hit like that allows us to hit flying types. Not bad. Okay, so I actually can't go that way. So we have to go the long way. Which I'm assuming this is the long way. And Gemma's still in front. Let's battle you. Watch as I absorb the powers of nature. Alright, Psychic Elena. Cybex. That's new. Okay. Um. Hmm, let's go Topanga. Definitely Psychic. Confusion. Ooh, okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna swap into Reverie here to get the special attack drop. I need a Dark type or something, dude. I need Reverie to learn a new move. That's not whatever it is right now. Not Psychic, because I wonder if he's fighting Psychic. I'm actually gonna go over a Psychic move and just see if he's fighting and Psychic. I think he's probably not, though. Yeah, he's not, okay. I figured I'd try it. I mean, Double Kick's really not gonna do much to me, and I lowered his special attack, so I could probably switch now. So let's make the swap into, I guess we can go Emerald. And we could just get Mega Drain. Confusion, his special attack is lowered though. He gets the confusion though, like what is that? All right, let's just Mega Drain, hope I don't hit myself. I gotta switch now. I can't like even break through this dude, cause let me just heal, dude. I'm gonna just super potion up. I, I, this is frustrating. <laughs> I hate when, I hate confusion. I've said it so many times, like, if there's anything in Pokemon playthroughs that I hate is confusion. It's like the most annoying thing. I just hate it. I feel like you hit yourself all the time. Like, I'm gonna hit myself. No, okay, that's a miracle. That does nothing. Why is this thing so bulky? Why are you so bulky, dude? He's so bulky. Why are you so bulky? I mean, Emerald's like pretty strong, dude. And I'm still confused. Thank you. All right. Can I like knock this dude out? This guy, this little goat is just ridiculous. Please don't hit yourself, dude. How many turns am I gonna be confused? How many turns am I gonna be confused, dude? It's four turns. Like why am I confused for four turns, bro? Thank you. That's like probably max. I don't know how you even get confused that long. It's crazy. All right, well, I got rid of this guy. This guy's strong though. He's very bulky. All right, level 16. Evolve. No. All right, well, we're going to continue this one on the next one, guys. That is going to be that for me. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Sage, dude. It was crazy. We lived on 2 HP and then 1 HP and then... That was crazy. That was crazy, guys. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. My name is Dan. I also go by a job, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.